When I was younger, I saw the supermodels on the magazine sub covers. I saw the gorgeous actresses in movies and on TV. And my idea of what beauty was, was sort of just diminished. It wasn't even a thing because I thought, if I'm the ugliest person in the world, where does that standard of beauty even begin? My doctor told me I officially have neonatal prodroid syndrome. It affects three things. It affects my eyes, my bones, and my heart. So basically, no matter what I do, I just will never be able to gain weight. I mean, when you're first time parents and you're told your daughter is two pounds, 10 ounces, and you show them a Polaroid of me because they think that they're gonna be scared of their own child. And the first thing they say is, bring her to us right now because she's our daughter no matter what size she is. And to have that foundation from literally day one, I think has shaped a lot of who I am now. It wasn't until I was 17 and I found the video on YouTube calling me the world's ugliest woman with my photo and knew that over 4 million people had seen it. There were thousands of comments on this video. And I just sat there and scrolled through every single one and read every single one because I was so desperate to find one person that was standing up for me. And I never found it. I had my door slightly opened and when I looked out, my mom was like directly in my vision and she was just sitting there watching TV. And, um, and I knew if that video crushed me as much as it did, I couldn't imagine what it would do to her. And I think that's where the light was turned on for me that I, I'm not gonna sit here and let their words become the definition of who I am. About a year or so after I found the video, I was asked to do my first speech uh, for my assistant principal. I never wanted to like be in front of people. And she asked me to speak and tell students my story. Before I went up, they warned me if they get loud or like rowdy, there's people here that'll like, you know, quiet them down. Halfway through when I realized I should look up, everyone was looking at me and they were so quiet and I could see like tears in people's eyes and like I there was just there was a moment there was a connection and I felt like that whole I'm different shield was just gone and we were just one group of people we're not victims in any sense unless we allow ourselves to be I don't have vision in both eyes but I have vision in one eye I might wear kid shoes, but at least I don't have to pay full price for adult shoes. Like there's always the bright side. You can put makeup on and you can do your hair and you can do all of these things. But when you go to bed at night and you put your head on that pillow and you take the makeup off and you're stripped down to just you, what do you have? You have what's on your inside. You have your personality, you have your values, you have the things that mean the most to you. You have your dreams. Those things are what make you beautiful. That's what the standard of beauty to me is. The person that you are, not the person that you look like.